Hello viewers, welcome to our channel JD Pharmacoveda. In this new set of videos, we are going to discuss about the pharmacology topic wise classification within 5 minutes. So, without further delay, let us enter into the topic. So, the first topic is cholinergic drugs. So, cholinergic drugs are the drugs which produces the cholinergic actions. So, which resemble the actions of acetylcholine in our body. So, like example, the secretion of saliva, tears, like that. Okay. So, first the category is cholinergic agonist. So, there are two set of classification. One, choline esters and another one is alkylides. The choline esters has acetylcholine, methacholine, carbocol and bethanocol. Then for alkylides, the drugs are muscarin, pilocarpin and aracholine. So, this is easy. Then anticholine esterases drugs. So, anticholine esterases drugs means which inhibits the choline esterase enzyme. So, this choline esterase enzyme is responsible for the breakdown of acetylcholine. Here we need the acetylcholine. So, thus this drugs inhibits the choline esterase enzyme. There are two categories reversible and irreversible. So, first the reversible category carbamates. The drugs are physostigmine, neostigmine, pyridostigmine and rivastigmine. And the another category is non-carbamates. The drugs are hydrophonium, tacrine, donofacil and galantamine. And another set is irreversible category. So, like carbamates. The drugs are carboryl propoxer. And the another category drugs are organophosphates. The drugs are diflos, echothiophate, malathion, diazinon, tabun, sarin and soman. Then the another category which is anticholinergic agents. So, these drugs inhibit the actions of the acetylcholine. So, the broad classification of drugs. So, let us discuss one by one. So, number one first natural alkaloids like atrophin, hyosin and or scopolamine. Then the semi-synthetic derivative drugs like atropine, methonitrate, homotropin, hyosin, butyl bromide, ipratropium bromide, thiotropium bromide. Then in the synthetic compounds, first the midriatic drugs like cyclophendolate, tropicamide and the vasicoselective drugs like oxybutynin, flavoxide, tolteridon, darifenazine and solifenazine. Then the anti-Parkinsonian drugs like trihexyphenidyl or benzoxal, procyclidin and biperidin. Then the anti-secretory, anti-spasmodic drugs are classified to two categories. First the quaternary compounds are propanthaline, oxyphenonium, clinidium, semitropium bromide, isopropamide, glycopyrrolate. And the tertiary amines like dicyclamine, valathamate and pyranzapine. Then the another category is ganglionic stimulants. So, ganglion means a set of neurons which are collide in a nature which act as a relay station. So, the drugs are selective nicotinic agonists like nicotine, lobelin, dimethylphenyl, piperazinium, tetramethyl ammonium, varinacilline. Then the non-selective muscarinic agonists like acetylcholine, carbocal, pilocarpin, and cholinesterases MCM 343A. Then the opposite like ganglionic blocking agents like competitive blockers and persistent depolarizing blockers. First the competitive blockers like coronary ammonium compounds, hexamethionium, pentolinium. Then the amines like mechamylamine, pemidimine. Then the monosulfonium compounds like trimethophen, camphor sulfonate. Then the persistent depolarizing blockers like nicotine in larger doses and cholinesterases also in larger doses. So, thank you for watching. If you like our video, please like, enter your thoughts, clarification in our comment section, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Let us see in a next video.